This Adobe Illustrator tutorial is all about connecting and joining anchor points to create a connected path like this example. We'll cover three options and start with the most simple and straightforward one, which is the join option. Okay, so let's try to connect the path and get rid of the empty space between the anchor points. To select the anchor points, you need the direct selection tool, which can be found in the tool panel over here. Then you can drag over the two anchor points you need. Or you can click one, hold down shift and select the second one. And with the two anchor points selected, head over to object, path and select join. The result is a simple and straight line that connects the two selected anchor points. So let's do this again for the other anchor points. Select them both by holding down shift, go to object, path and select join. Now with both the gaps closed, it's a closed shape that can be filled with a color. That's it for the most simple option. Just select the two anchor points and head over to join. Now moving on to a more advanced option that might come in handy when working with a curved path, the average option. First I'll show you why the join option is not enough in this situation. The join option will just simply draw a straight line between the selected anchor points and does not take the curved path in account. So now select the two anchor points again and now we're going to have a look on the average option. Go to object, path and select average. This will pop up a menu which gives us three options. We can align the anchor points horizontal. This obviously only levels the anchor points horizontally and not vertically so it doesn't bring the anchor points closer to each other. We can also only do that vertically which will align the anchor points in a vertical axis but we need it to level the anchor points on both of the axes. This will let both the anchor points snap to the exact center of both axes like in this example. So make sure that both the anchor points are selected, go to object, path and select average and then select both. Now both the anchor points are laying perfectly on top of each other. The only thing left to do is select both the anchor points and join them together to create a closed and editable shape. The average technique can also be used when selecting multiple anchor points. So when we select these four anchor points and choose the average uh, for both the axes, it will find the center of the shape. So when we select both, all of the anchor points will be drawn to the center of the shape. Okay, so moving on to the final technique to connect anchor points together is the manual way, which is the pen tool. Select the pen tool in the toolbar and simply click on the anchor point that needs to be connected. This icon indicates that it will connect the first anchor point and this little icon indicates that it will connect the second anchor point. Okay, so let's repeat the step with the final anchor points and you will notice the difference in the little icon. This icon indicates that it will close the contour. So these were the three techniques to connect the anchor points. Final thing I want to show you is that the pen tool can also be used to add and delete anchor points. Right click on the pen tool and select the add or delete anchor point tool. Now you can click on the anchor points to delete them or select the add anchor point tool to add them again. This can be used to add an anchor point to recreate the shape. That's all you need to know about connecting anchor points. Thanks for watching and please consider to subscribe if it helped you.